Hi, I'm here with uh, Judith Rios from uh, Doctors Without Borders, MSF. Judith, you've been following the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, negotiation. How are things going from your point of view as it relates to uh, 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 the provisions that deal with the price of medicine? Uh, so thank you, Jimmy. They're going uh, very badly. Uh, we've been following this negotiation for now over two years. Um, as you know, the, the first access to the first leak uh, was nearly two years ago, and at that moment when we analyzed the text, we, we were very, very worried. Uh, for two years, we've been hoping that the U.S. position in this negotiation was going to improve, and that the concerns that uh, Doctors Without Borders, uh, the trading partners of the U.S. government, and many others will be heard, but unfortunately, doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I'm just back from Salt Lake City, where last week um, U.S. basically presented, uh, no, stand behind basically the demands that had been making for the last two years that make this agreement potentially the most dangerous agreement for access to medicines that has ever been negotiated but uh, uh, required additional demands put on the table formally 12 years of the exclusivity for biologics, what for us uh, will be a nightmare. It will increase the cost of medical care for products that are already basically completely unavailable in the countries where we work. So negotiations are not going well. Um, thank you. Is there anything you'd like to add? No, thank you for the, for the interview. <laughs>